internet, it's Story here, and as you can tell, there's an exciting video planned for it today. So I don't know about you, but I love Lush. Uh, I love their products, I love the philanthropy work that they do. What I don't love are the prices. Um, I am an underpaid, overworked government employee, so I need products that are reasonably priced and still work. So that brings me to this Epic Fail Beauty, which if you don't know, Epic Fail Beauty is me trying to make beauty products and usually not doing so great in them. Now, instead of just trying one Lush recipe, uh, because I've done that before in the past uh, and it, it's been okay, I wanted to do a mashup of multiple Lush things because if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go hard and see what the hell I can make. So I literally just went to the store today and I bought a lot of things and I, it was a strange combo of products. We're just gonna go with it. Kind of see what happens, what comes out of this. I'm not really sure how well this will go, but I know it's gonna be messy, so I have my... Ugh. Thankfully, my mother is gone all day. I'm home alone. She can't say shit. So what I'm thinking is we'll do the bath bombs first because they take a lot of time to put together and also they need to mold and dry or whatever. So I'm gonna start off with the snowball and snowman bath bombs. Also, all the recipes are gonna be in the description below. I'll link you to all the places where I got these. Okay, so for the fizzy snowball and snowman bath bombs, we're gonna need baking soda, water, which I'll get, vegetable oil, cornstarch, I got a lot of that. Essential oil, I know I have that. So, because it's the holiday season and this is a snowball, I decided to get some peppermint and a balsam fir, and then I have a lavender one, which I'm gonna go grab in a bit. Um, and I'm gonna use the lavender oil for the galaxy one. Uh, Epsom salt. Oh my god. Cream of tart. Got it. Okay, this sounds stressful. Here we go. That's why I bought three boxes at the food store. On top of the two I already had at home. What better way to spend your day when you call out sick from work than to do lush recipes? You know what, I'm gonna do an extra thing of just extra stuff that I cut over because I don't feel like that's too much. Okay. Then half a cup of Epsom salt. Shit, my whole scissors. Can I just... Can I just... Does this work? I don't want to get... Oh, fuck. Whoa. No friend. You know, they really should sell like cream of tartar in bulk. Also, they should make this easy to open. Quality seal my ass. Ugh, this is gonna be the hardest part of this entire fucking thing. Opening cream of tartar. Just open. Thank you. You might be here a while. I have to challenge myself by doing two things at once. It's great. Oh, it is fizzy. Okay. It's gonna be very difficult. I don't know why people think this is easy. So that was a fourth. Ah, fuck. That peppermint is like, wow. Got to add the vegetable oil, didn't I? I hate everything. We're just gonna do this. This doesn't seem like a good consistency. Also, my eyes are being assaulted by this peppermint. Should I be using a spoon? I don't I don't know how to help me here. It's just very flaky and not really like 
mushy, which is the word that the recipe used for the record. But then again, I, I've never made a bath bomb before, so I, I, what do I know? These are beauty experts of the internet. Okay, maybe it is. Okay, I can, I can see it. So I searched really hard to find, um, like the bath bomb molds or like this recipe calls for a clear ornament that like breaks in half, like the plastic one. And I spent this past weekend when I went to the craft store, I couldn't find it. And then I, I couldn't find either an ornament or a mold. And then I went to the food store today, and then I went to uh, the craft store again afterwards just to check, and I can't find that. So we're gonna do something different. I went online and I found uh, a list that has a, of substitutes for uh, what you could use to mold. It was suggested to me to use muffin tins. I've, I'm gonna use for the snowman one, I'm gonna use for the little ones. I'll probably have extra stuff which is fine because I can use it for the other thing anyway. All we have to do is put it in and set it for ooh, and set it for 30 minutes. Alright, I need I need to expand my horizons here. Alright. Oh, I can use the bottom of it. This is like doing cupcakes, but you're like allowed to go outside the lines. Okay, so now that that one is setting, I am gonna do, actually I still need this. I'm gonna do that Milky Way Galaxy one, and this is actually what it looks like. It's pretty as fuck. I'm not gonna follow any of what this top portion says. I'm gonna use the recipe of this one, and then I'm gonna add the colors after. So now that I know what I'm up against with the whole, just the basic part of it, um, I'm gonna take my bowl and actually I need to empty this because I don't want peppermint in it. You know what, it's epic fail, epic fail beauty, so nobody fucking cares. Here we go again, I'm gonna pause the filming part of the video to make it. It was a lot of work, I am covered in stuff now. Uh, I, it looks like a battle scene. Thankfully you can't quite see it from this angle. But I made the four mixes that I needed to make. Um, now the reason I made four was because, as you can tell, there's multiple colors in this ball. Now, um, I'm gonna assume that I should start with the lightest color first. I mean, that's what I usually tend to do. This is quite a process. Um, I think it took me like half an hour to make all four of the mixes. It's very messy and uh smells like not bad but it just like don't open your mouth when you do why am i putting a third glove on i don't have a third hand okay let's get to mixing i'm pretty excited because this is a fun thing for me here we go this is like how oh how much first i highly recommend doing this in your kitchen uh but i needed this space and we don't really have a lot of space right now in my kitchen or just not really mix that too oh I'm already disappointed. Fuck you. I'll do what I want. I think that's actually my favorite part about Epic Fail Beauty is I don't have to fucking play by any rules. I can just go for it and uh, shit will happen and it'll be fun. Which is really the key about videos that I make. I need to have fun because my life sucks outside of videos. So I'm learning that body safe coloring does not spread as easily as food dye, which is good to know. I went too hard on this video, I can already tell, and it's been, I'm only doing the second thing. This might be as pink as we're gonna get, which is okay actually, but it looks lighter in the camera, which really s sucks, but I'm just gonna give up on measurements and just go for it. So we have our blue. Again, it's a little bit lit, well, no, maybe that's the same color. Um, I could try and make it darker, but my arms are getting really tired. We're gonna move on to the next color because I don't give a fuck anymore. But what's the point? I need a break. Here's lavender. Ta-da. Finally, charcoal. I 
What is the point of those little things if they fall off? I feel like I've been in battle for years. Once again, I don't have molds. So we're gonna just use this and we're gonna go with it. It's gonna be great. I'll use maybe this to press down. Okay. Now that I have watched a video uh, on how to make this galaxy printed or whatever, I feel 100% qualified to do this. There's a pinching technique involved. Totally gonna go fine. Just put it on all there. And we're gonna lightly, lightly tap it like a newborn pup and then kind of pinch it because it's messy. Like, I don't know. And then I'm gonna add, kind of go crazy with it and make it fun and colorful. I can hold it and do this at the same time. It's totally doable. as hard as I possibly can to squish it. So a lot of upper body strength is being used here and I think this could really be a new exercise. So look how tightly packed that is. Beautiful. So I did one tray of all of them. I'm tired and there's a lot of this stuff left over and I just don't want that many bath bombs so I'm probably just gonna toss it anyway. Here they are. I have no idea how long I'm supposed to set them for. I should probably look that up. Of course it fucking doesn't tell me. You know what Jessica? You give me no information that I need. Well I'm gonna leave them I guess maybe I don't know an hour. They're probably set for the entire time that I do the rest of the video stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go put these aside and then I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then we're gonna move on to the next thing. So the next one we're gonna do is the Cosmetic Warrior Face Mask. Um, there are some substitutes here. So instead of, uh, they recommend Fuller's Earth or Mol Multani Meaty, which is Kaolin, 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 clay. But I wanted to use the, one of the clays that I already have at home because I need to use them. So I'm gonna use my um, Bentonite. Clay. I'm doing my best here. Um, I forgot to get garlic cloves at the store, so we're gonna use the already minced garlic. It's the same thing, just a different form. So we're gonna use that. And then instead of uh, glycerin, which I couldn't find anywhere in either of the stores that I went to today, even though I know both of them should have it, I'm gonna use light corn what, syrup. Grapes. Um, it didn't specify whether they, you know, purple or green grapes. So I went with green because they're kind of just the first thing I saw. One egg and corn flour. Now this is instant corn flour so I'm hoping, corn masa flour, so I'm hoping this is okay. But it was the only one that I could find in the entire store and it was in the international section. It's also gluten free. And then honey, that's the other thing. So literally it's just put it into a bowl and mix. So I have, food processed slash mashed uh, about I think it was 10 or 11 grapes as well as uh, two cloves of garlic put that in there that looks beautiful and delicious smells like garlic and I love it here can you fucking open like I'm having so much trouble with things today not opening this is to use a hand mixer or blender but like after a certain point I don't really feel like you need to Clearly I'm an expert again. Well, that did nothing to help me. That went vertically. Okay. Whatever works, I guess. I don't know why, but the idea of an egg on my face doesn't really seem all that enjoyable to me. So we mix it all together. And you can add an essential oil, but um, my nose is kind of still recovering from the bath bombs. So Oh, I don't really want to put that also like immediately on my face. That would be weird. I needed a better angle. So it has been food processed. I hope I don't spill any of this, but woo, there it is. It would be more uh, white in color, uh, like blush does, if I were using a different clay, but uh, I you know what, I don't fucking care at this point. I'm sticky and I feel gross. I am gonna go wash off the makeup that I have on and then put this on 
for 10 to 15 minutes and we're gonna see what happens. So while this dries, I am that, oh, gross. gonna move on to the next one. The Ocean Salt Scrub. Uh, this one I'm gonna grab, let's see, what do I have over here? The coarse sea salt, which I have two things of, so I'll use. Coconut milk, unsweetened. And I gotta get the avocado, lemon juice, and vodka. So uh, I am gonna work on this avocado first. I have no vodka, for the record. I don't fucking know how that happened. We had it last time I checked, but it's fine. So we're gonna, I would, yes, I know the pit's still in there I'm working on. I'm more determined than this avocado. I don't even care anymore. I'm hungry, therefore I am cranky. I'm on hour, almost three of doing all this. This is the ultimate mashup of Lush product. So we're gonna mash it. And it's gonna get embarrassing because I guarantee I'm gonna get mad enough to just use my hands to mash. And you know what? I'm, nobody cares. It's okay. We can do whatever we want here. It's my channel. I wanna mash an avocado like this, which feels really gross for the record. You can very well mash an avocado this way. There's a lot of liquid that I didn't expect. Ooh. Creamy and free of lumps. Why don't I just use the food processor again? I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna have to wash it first. Smooth and creamy. Jasmine just tried to steal an empty box of baking soda, but I just got off the mask. As you can tell, you can see all my imperfections. Um, my skin is very soft. Um, it feels alive. Don't even. Don't follow her lead. Be your own person. Uh, so we're gonna get back to this one. Half. It just says one half lemon juice. What does that mean? It's nasty as hell. Coconut milk. I don't know what to do with it, but it doesn't look like the ocean salt scrub, but I, cause I was on the interception, it was white, but this is avocado, so therefore green. Well, I guess test it out on myself here. It feels like a scrub, but it also feels like I'm just mashing a avocado onto my skin. This felt like a complete waste of money and time, but we're gonna move on because we only have two more things to go. I'm really excited about this one, actually. The bubble bath Play-Doh recipe. So what we need, this one's gonna be, I hope, super easy. Do I need to? Oh, God. This is gonna be my downfall. Fourth cup, Johnson Johnson, or bubble bath. Here we go. Beautiful, it also smells delightful. One teaspoon of coconut oil. And then the coloring. What color do I wanna do? Kiwi. I'll do kiwi. Why? What is the point of these little fucking things that go on the top if they don't stay. We mix it together. Get to use our hands, I'm excited. I might have overdone and bought more cornstarch than I needed. This is the part where I use my hands. Ooh, ooh, feels gooey. Like the slime. I have regrets. It's getting sticky. Oh God, maybe I'm just doing the wrong kneading method, but can't really do much when it starts. Oh God, I'm just gonna live there now. Now it's just becoming sticky as hell. I don't know how to help me right now. It's more than I wanted. This is a really bad time for my nose to be itchy. It's just sticky and goopy. It's not Play-Doh-y. You can use it as soap. I've got water. Let's grab some and get my hand wet. And if we're gonna use it as soap, we're gonna lather. I'm not sure if this is being picked up or not, but it's nasty. It's kind of lathery, soapy, but it's so thick that like, what's the point? <laughs> Still smells nice at least, but uh, not Play-Doh-y. More slimy than Play-Doh. I'm really disappointed in this one, but I'm not gonna stop at this one. I'm gonna clean up and then we're gonna go to the last one. And then after that, we will test out those um, 
bath bombs and see what happens when I put them in water. We have finally come down to the end it is the Lush Cup of Coffee Dupe. Not sure what that word is, but we'll go with it. Now, this one we need coffee beans. So I use Wegmans Breakfast Blend because I figured, you know, maybe this will wake me up. And uh, I'd rather have a breakfast blend on my face. <laughs> Honey again. Check. Coconut oil. Where are you? There you are. Um, unsweetened cocoa. Check. And vanilla extract. Yogurt. Plain yogurt, which is what I have. I tried to buy um, a smaller one because I don't eat a lot, but um, there was this old couple in front of that area and they weren't moving and they were arguing and I just wanted to get out of there. So I just grabbed what I could. And ran. Mix it all together. Oh, it's a face or body exfoliator. Well, I like when it's very easy. See, we started off heavy and hard, and then we move on to the easy things because I, I don't know. That's just how things work. One teaspoon. There's something sticky on me. Uh, I really hate it. Oh, fuck you! Oh my god. If someone loves me, they will make a compilation of me fighting with all these little like openers. As you can tell, I, I have degraded to not even using a knife for this. Beautiful. Coffee, wine, and garlic. That is my aesthetic. We've already gotten two out of three. That might have been more than what I wanted, but you know what, we'll go with it. And then we just mix it all together and that's really it, so. So, it is amazing. Um, let me show you. Here's the it flings. Uh, camera works. There we go. There's the mixture. It mixed perfectly, easily, so quickly. Here it is on my hand. It feels like an exfoliator should, unlike the other one. It smells great. I think this one's my favorite. This is it right here. This lush cup of coffee dupe. And I'm, I have no idea if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm calling it fucking that. We're going to our final, final stretch of this trip. This three and a half hour trip so far. So now is the time to see if all the hard work that I did was really worth it. You know, if all that pressing and mixing was, was worth the hours of trouble that I just went through. And, uh, oh, it's actually pretty hard. Neat. Um, I, I really I want to take a moment to thank you for joining me on this journey. Um, it really has been quite an experience and I'm tired. My body aches. Uh, my skin feels dry. My nostrils are a little sore from all the, uh, the scents that I've been inhaling. But the coffee, really, I think that was a solid choice of doing the coffee one last because that really helped me, kick me going. And I'm, I'm really nervous about this one. I do really hope it works out. Mainly my issue is I don't know if they're gonna, you know, be stuck to, like, compacted together enough. I mean, I press pretty hard down, but you never know. So none of these recipes showed me how to get it out. So here we go, the peppermint snowball. I don't know whether to cry or laugh at that. In case you can't see, it snowed on my table. None of it stuck. At all. I mean, this did. So I guess, woo, fizzy. Joy. Now to figure out this hot mess and how I'm gonna get this out. And I'm terrified to do any of this. Hold on. I'm like really scared. Ooh came out. Oh my god, guys. Holy shit. Look at that. Oh my god. This one actually, oh, well, the little edges are loose just because of the shape. But Oops, that went everywhere. <laughs> but unless I don't push hard on it, it was fine. So this is what, it does look really cool though. So, I mean, it was kind of worth it. Can you focus camera? For the love of God, oh, there we go. There you go. 
my galaxy. We'll put it in here. And we'll see what happens. So you just can't press really hard down on those. I just, it's a mess. But as you can tell, it doesn't uh, dye your body. Oh my god, it's actually really fun to play with. Because it all just disintegrates into nothing. This has been quite a ride. The ultimate lush mashup of recipes for epic fail beauty. I think I failed on a lot of this. The only th part of this that I actually really enjoyed making and also worked out really well was the coffee dupe thing. And that one I've already put in my fridge. So to save for a later date, I'm just gonna wallow in my sorrows and uh, maybe I'll give these away. It happened. Thank you for watching. My name is Story. This has been another epic fail of beauty. I put up videos every weekend so be sure to check it out and uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'll do more gems like this one where things do not go well. See you then.